Today, you and I get to make shrimp etouffee. First, we make a roux. Really simple. We take some vegetable oil and we put it in our pan. To the oil, we are going to add some flour. And then with a whisk, we are going to whisk this for about 10 or so minutes. But little by little, you're going to see that the flour is going to thicken. It's gonna to get toastier. So you don't wanna stop stirring. You wanna make sure that your flour does not get burnt. So just simply continue whisking. And we're not going for a very dark color here, just a golden brown. Now, etouffee is simply a thick brothed soup, almost like a stew. And in this case, we're using shrimp, so that's why it's shrimp etouffee. In Louisiana, we also use crawfish when we have it. But unlike gumbo, it does not have a dark roux. It has a tomato base. So that's why shrimp or etouffee is red. So now that we have a golden brown or dark brown roux color, we are going to add some chopped onions, celery, some chopped peppers. I'm using red bell peppers here and chopped garlic. Let's give this a good stir. Now, what we wanna do here is cook down our vegetables, get, make sure our vegetables are coated with that roux. So as I'm cooking my vegetables, I'm gonna add my spices. I have ground thyme right here. I also have some cayenne pepper. And remember, the ingredients and measurements are gonna be right below this video for you. And some paprika. Let's give this a good stir. Now, if you like Louisiana food, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know and I make more videos for you. I'll make sure to link them, a couple of them below this too. Now, my vegetables have softened. They're cooked down some. I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. I've drained most of the liquid, but in the pot it goes. This is a tomato-based soup. So this is gonna help thicken it, give it body, and of course, give it flavor. Now, once my tomatoes are incorporated, I am going to add my stock. You can use vegetable stock, or if you're using shrimp that had all of the shells, you can also make your own seafood stock from that. So into the pot we go, and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Now guys, if you want a smoother etouffee base, you would, at this point, before you add the shrimp and the remaining ingredients, you would take an immersion blender, place it in your pot, and simply blend some of the finely diced ingredients into a smoother sauce, or you could take a ladle, remove it, and blend it in your blender. But if you don't have one around, it's totally great, and it'll still taste amazing. So now we're gonna add our butter into our pot, our shrimp, these are peeled and deveined, our green onions, our Worcestershire sauce, and a little Tabasco. Let's give everything a good mix. I'm going to cook this for about five minutes until my shrimp are cooked through. They're no longer translucent. All right, so let's check this out. Now that our shrimp are pink and cooked through, I'm going to serve this. Now I've cooked some white rice ahead of time and I'm simply going to make a bed of rice in my bowl. And then I'm going to fill the rest of my bowl with the shrimp etouffee. Check it out. Rich, delicious. You know what would be great with these? Some popovers to soak up all the juice. Make sure to watch this next video so you can make those next. See you guys next time.